hosting you in my kitchen and today I want to show you in detail how I prepare coffee with the mocha. You may think that there are tons of tutorial on YouTube about this but still that I want to show you my way. I can make your coffee really taste in a different way. If you follow the steps that I'm going to show you today you will notice a huge difference in the coffee that you drink every day. Okay, let's go into it and let's start preparing coffee. Okay, let's grind the coffee. Always to use the whole bean so that you can get a fresh grinded coffee. Now, this is the first detail. How much water should you put on the boiler? Let me show you. Okay, now one of the most asked question about mocha is how much coffee powder should I put inside? This actually depends on how much you want the coffee to be strong. Depends on what kind of taste you are looking for. I know, I know people, Italian people, who they literally build a mountain. They put so much uh, coffee powder on it that you can see there is a mountain, there is, the coffee is coming up really so much, it's unbelievable. When I see them making coffee, I think, how can you lock the mocha, putting so much coffee? And they actually do lock the mocha, but the coffee, it's really pressed. There is the filter and there is the, the upper part, so the coffee is really pressed inside. And there are many people who think that there is no need of tamping at all. So what I do is I put enough coffee, as I showed you before, not amping, and I, I put the mocha on the fire. Now the coffee is on its way up. Now something very important, this is a crucial part of the, of the making. Before the coffee start bubbling out of the mocha, you have to remove the mocha from the fire. Because if you let the mocha bubble out until the end, you get all the water in the boiler coming up and the coffee will be weaker, it will be very watery coffee. If you want to get a perfect intense espresso, you have to remove the mocha before. When the coffee coming up start accelerating, then you have to remove the mocha and you let, let it finish aside. Coffee start coming out as you can see it started to accelerate now you have to take it out now you take it out and you let it finish outside that's it look at this here we go When you unlock and disassemble the mocha, you're going to have leftover. So this is the leftover of the water that was in the boiler that I didn't let come out. Now I'm going to show you in detail. You can see that in this water there is a lot of coffee powder. Look at this. There is a lot of coffee powder left over in the bottom of the boiler. So if you don't let this water come out, you're going to have a cleaner coffee taste. 
I'll show you on the cap. Look, 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 look. Here we go. Look at this. How can a person be so passionate about brewing coffee with a mocha? This is simply something that I do every day. For me, coffee taste really matter. Okay, if I drink a bad espresso in the morning, my day is going to be fucked up. Okay, so coffee is very important for me. It's vital. So if you like this video, please give me a thumb and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.